Lottery mania has gripped the country with mega jackpots worth hundreds of millions of dollars. People dreaming of turning a couple bucks into a huge payoff. Now scammers are seizing on that eagerness to strike it rich and they have cast their net wider, targeting people on social media. Here again is Nick Starling with a man's story and a warning. If you thought your Facebook was a scam free zone, think again. Facebook is now the latest way for scammers to contact you. It happened to an Omaha resident who just wants us to call him Eric. He says he got a friend request from someone claiming to be a Facebook employee. First they messengered me say you have won a lottery. You have won you have winnings to collect. Over one and a half million dollars. These supposed winnings feeling fishy, Eric then began asking questions. And I'm going, yeah, okay. Do I have to pay IRS um, taxes? Do I have to claim this with the IRS? And they're automatically no. The scammers also wanted Eric to pay $950 to claim the prize, even adding to Eric's suspicion. Luckily, he didn't fall for it, but the scammers kept pressing on. They're hitting me at all hours, day and night, 2 in the morning, 4 in the morning, 10 in the morning, 5 o'clock at night, saying you've got to send this Western Union to collect your winnings. There's several Facebook accounts like these, all called something to the effect of Facebook lottery promotion, with people holding up checks. This is a major concern for the Better Business Bureau, who say this latest scam is alarming. Uh, so it really is, I think, a way for them to be able to target a younger audience and also target seniors who they've typically reached by mail, who many, many of them now have Facebook sites set up. BBB Regional President Jim Haggerty says it's a red flag if anybody wants you to pay first to collect any money. Well, there's no legitimate lottery, no legitimate entity uh, that's going to charge you money in order for you to be able to collect your winnings. Nick Starling reporting a couple of other notes. If you discover those posts on your page, contact the Better Business Bureau or police. Deputies catch